It's just awesome. Move on. Wow. That's, that's amazing. That's really good. Where's my sushi? Oh, God. Oh. oh. It's delicious. I'm so full now. Oh, back to work. Hi guys, it's Paul again. Today we're doing Madai. Today I got a fresh Madai from Japan in English name called a Sea Bream. Very fresh, it comes directly from Japan. It just takes like 24 hours from Japan to here. This is a very good fish for the sashimi and sushi. So today you said you're gonna do like three dishes. Right. Number one is the carpaccio, yep. number two is, is sashimi dish, and number three is the nigiri sushi topped with Japanese uni. So you ready to toast? You hold it, I toast it, okay? You know why I need to put this stick on? Because after the torch, mm -hmm. right, the, the skin of me will curve. Toast from the skin side first. Oh, look at this. Wow, it smells so good. Yeah. So this one is the, this is steam fish. Uh, that's uh, the, the, the hot, hot water. Hot water. Okay. Yeah. You see the, the color yeah. of the skin different? Yeah. And this one is, is the torch one. torch one. That's two different textures. Right. And this one is pretty mild. Uh -huh. This one have a little bit smoky flavors. In Japan, mm -hmm. right after serve this right. as a decoration, and they eat, finish the sashimi and uh -huh. sushi. They cook the head with some miso soup, or they can boil. Yeah, right. so basically they don't waste anything. Oh. If the customer come in, they want to order whole fish like this. Can we make it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Make sure make a reservation first. If you want to order whole fish like this, then we can make the fish as sashimi and few items, maybe like you know some uh, capaccio, right? Yeah, and some soup. You guys have to call in reservation first. This is the. Capacio this? Yeah. Please, do it. Cucumbers. Okay. I lay out on the bottom. Right. Because this is very nice and fresh. Right, right. What is Capacio? Usually they use uh, the olive oil okay. and citrus. Right. If you want to put some garlic also. Right. Able to. And this is the lime so, juice and the truffle oil and remember. wasabi dressings. So I just use a brush. Brush it. Make sure every single piece is balanced out. And then I put some uh, tomatoes. Is, uh, make the color like green. Red, yeah, white, little bit stand, stand out. All right. So that's the dishes. Okay. Right. right. Let's do nigiri. Right now, I have four pieces of sea bream. So I put some wasabi <laughs> okay. on it. Right. Right. Nice. You see how the hand? But you have to do like. <laughs> you don't want to fish, you know, on your hand too long. Right. Because right. your so, your hand have the temperature. Every single piece have different unique flavors. Right. So the first one. Right. Is lime. To lime. Second one, yeah. tomato. Yeah. <laughs> And then the one is you don't know which pea you pick from the best. So I have three different kinds of salt. The first one is yuzu. Okay, yuzu salt. <laughs> okay. This one is from Italian. This okay. is called uh, uh, truffle salt. Okay. Yeah. This one is wasabi. That's from Japan. Oh. Kinjirushi <laughs> is the old brand wasabi brand. I will put some wasabi sea salt right. on the lime one. Right. Okay. And this is truffle salt. Oh, the, the tomato, tomato one. one. Yep. Nice. Very rich flavors. Right. So and this one, the yuzu, mm -hmm. I put on the jalapeno side. Jalapeno. Yep. So because uni is, you don't want to put any salt. No, no, because no. Because it's already, wanna, yep. already contain salt water in the uni already. Right. Right. Okay. The truffle oil. Truffle oil with the wasabi dressing. Okay. So here's the finished right. dishes. Right. Again, at Yoki, we're not selling fish, we're selling sushi. Thank you for watching and see you next time. After you torch it, you got some like flavor coming out of it from the fish oil. Put some sauce on it. Nice and clean, refreshing.